Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you are well and happy. I sure am happy to be here once again, sharing a new idea, a different idea for you to do at home, okay? But this has something to do with knives and things that are sharp, so please, 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 remember to have somebody older, an adult, helping you. I don't want you guys to do this by yourselves. So nobody get so you don't get hurt, okay? I got my apron on so I don't get dirty. And what am I gonna do? I'm going to make a ladybug sandwich. See? Ladybug sandwich. Sounds kind of funny, but let's see what happens. Well, I have kale. Kale. Very healthy for you. You can eat it afterwards too, you know. Raisins. Raisins, see, I've got the word raisins there. I have beetroot. I have sesame paste, sesame paste. I have bread. And I have tomato. Now, over here, it really has nothing to do with this. It's just I want to show you that the recipe can be done with something, with different things. If you don't want to use sesame paste, you can use uh, peanut butter or you can use cheese. And this is because I am going to cut the bread with a cookie cutter. But if you don't have a cookie cutter, you can get a glass. Plastic glass or, or anything that has a round circular shape. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to get my bread and I'm going to get the sesame paste I'm going to open it and I am going to get a spoonful of it this is very very nutritious sesame paste is delicious and it's very nutritious it's got a lot of protein it's made from sesame seeds ground pureed sesame seeds see so we use sesame paste this is what the, you use to make tahini, in case maybe at some point you've heard of that. Now we'll put the top on. Now comes the fun part. And we're going to cut the circular shape out of my sandwich, my bread. I'm going to press down. Press down, have fun pressing down. There. And we take the sides away. Oh my goodness, look what we have here. This is going to be fun to see. I'm going to take it out and look, I got a peekaboo. We can eat that, by the way. Don't leave it. Eat it later. So here we have a nice circular sandwich. So now we're, I'm going to cut the tomato. Now the tomato is where I'm saying that you need mom or dad or somebody older to help you because you have to use a knife. And here I am using this knife. I don't think this knife is all that sharp either. But I'm going to cut a slice of the tomato. It's juicy tomato, look. A nice slice of tomato. And where does that go? There we go. That's the red part of the ladybug. Now I'm going to get my beetroot. This is a beetroot. And this is a, a potato peeler, which is also sharp. Something you have to be very careful with. And under supervision. So I'm going to Quickly take the skin off the beetroot. The beetroot is a beautiful color. Look at that lovely color. Don't you think it's a pretty color? It's a like a reddy purple. Oh my, it's so pretty. Have you ever had a beetroot? Beetroot's delicious. Sometimes, here I've got to clean my, look at my fingers. <laughs> That's fun too. And you can, um, so it comes, it has a bright color to it. So let's cut this top off in here. And now this is going to be my ladybug's head. There we go. Now to make it start looking. See, I got, I'm kind of messy right here. And now I've got my leaf. Because you know ladybugs are on the trees and on the leaves. We're going to sit it there. But before we finish, I'm also going to cut another slice of of the beetroot and I'm going to cut little sticks. See? How many 
do we have? We need six because ladybugs have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We have six legs. Now I'm going to put the knife over to one side and I'm going to get my little legs and put them here. One leg, two legs, three legs. Now on this side we're going to put another one. One leg, oops, it fell down. One leg, two legs, three legs. Okay. Now, you know ladybugs have little black spots on them. So that's why I have the raisins. We'll put the, make the raisins. They're the little black spots. Okay. Now I thought, um, there we go. And all of this you can eat, even the beetroot, delicious beetroot. I was wondering, the only thing I hadn't figured out is what I was doing for the eyes. So I, oh, I know what, one more thing. I'm going to cut another little piece, forgot, for, no, oh, I don't know if I can keep it up there. That's the only thing. It has... They have little antennas, and I'm not sure if I can get the little antennas to stay. But we can pretend. We can leave it like this. Look, see, it would be like that. But it's not going to stay there, so I won't leave it there. Uh, if you can figure out a way of putting the antennas on there, give it a shot. Give it a try. And now I'm going to cut this. Look at this little bitty cherry tomato. Isn't it cute? I'm going to cut it in half. Oh, it doesn't want to cut. I tell you, this knife is not the sharpest. And I thought maybe we could give, make this the eyes. There you go. So now I have finished with my ladybug sandwich. Let me clean this up here for you to see. Make it look really pretty. Take this away. Isn't that adorable? Wouldn't that be fun to eat? The ladybug sandwich. I sure think I'm going to, as soon as this video is finished, I'm going to share this with my family. So I hope you try it and have fun. And like I said, if you don't want, want to use sesame paste, or you can use cheese, peanut butter, anything you want to put inside. Well, I've had fun sharing this idea with you, and I hope you have fun trying it out. Remember, be safe, be happy, and Love you very much.